Hey, I'm Max with Priority Bicycles, and today we're gonna to talk about the Nemo Dragonfly 2 bike packing tent. So a few months ago, I was planning a big bike packing trip. I wanted to go to the Pacific Northwest and start in Portland and go up into Washington State and into the Yaquil Burn State Forest. I was planning to bring our 600X, and this was all gonna be a pretty new experience for me. I've never gone bike packing on the West Coast before. I've never gone bike packing actually on our 600X before. This is my first experience with that. And with all of this new, I was looking for places where I wanted to upgrade my bike packing setup. The most obvious place for me was my tent. The tent I had at the time was really lacking. It was super small. It would get really humid inside at night. It was just kind of unpleasant. So I went searching online and I found the Nemo Dragonfly 2 bike packing tent and it really caught my eye. So I decided to get it and put it through its paces on this trip. For all my gear on a bike packing trip, I'm looking for three things. The pack size, the weight, and what it's adding to my trip. Let's talk about what the Nemo Dragonfly 2 brings to the table in those categories. So I'm a rider that's on the shorter side of average. I'm about five foot seven. So the bikes that I ride on these trips are not particularly huge. This means that pack size is really important to me. Everything I bring has to fit on my bike. I kind of go by the principle personally that I don't want to carry any items on my person. I want the bike to carry everything for me. So with this, pack size is extremely important. I was really impressed with the pack down size of this Nemo 2. I want to add that this is the two person version of the tent. I noted online when I was looking through the specs that the difference between the one person and the two person size is basically negligible. So I opted for the two person size and I'm really happy with just how small it is. In addition to pack size, weight is also a factor. I'm definitely not a weight weenie when it comes to cycling in general. I've never really cared about having a bike that's a couple pounds heavier. I don't go for like all titanium everything. But that said, when we're talking about a trip that's gonna last a couple days or a week, this stuff really does start to add up. So I don't want something that's gonna just be unnecessarily heavy. So while I don't need the absolute lightest thing on the market, I am looking for something that's gonna help me shave a couple grams where it's reasonable, but never in sacrifice of quality. So this being a two person tent, it packs down to just north of three pounds in the stuff sack that it comes with. I'm confident I could get that weight even lower if I didn't use the stuff sack and I just put the tent directly into my saddlebag. My previous tent that I was using was a much smaller two person tent. I don't think I could ever fit two people in there if I wanted. This is much roomier and the pack weight is still way less than that. So I'm really impressed with it. Pack size and weight are both really important, but they would kind of mean nothing if the item wasn't adding something to my bike packing experience. When we talk about bike packing, it's two parts. There's the biking you do during the day and then there's the camping at night. And so this tent really added a lot to my camping experience. I found that the setup was super, super easy. I'm frankly not one to ever read instructions, so I did not read the instructions on this tent, and I found I was able to set it up on the first go. It was really intuitive, got it done on the first try, and then breaking it down in the morning after having a good breakfast and coffee was just as quick and easy to do. One of the most impressive parts of this tent was just how roomy and comfortable it is. My previous tent that I was using was a two-person tent. I could never imagine sleeping two people in there. This was absolutely massive inside. I could easily sleep two people in here, no problem. It also has entry from both the left and right side of the tent. And then it has this neat feature where in one of the vestibules, uh, you can set up this landing zone with a tarp where you can put all of your gear. So I put my shoes in there, um, maybe my sunglasses from riding for the day, things that I didn't want inside my tent with me, but I also want to have some protection from the ground. Additionally, there were mesh pockets inside, so I put my helmet inside a mesh pocket inside the tent to make sure that it was dry for when I woke up in the morning. So now we've done a basic overview of my initial impressions of the Dragonfly 2 bikepacking tent. Let's kind of dig into some of the features that really stood out to me. So the first thing that comes across is the actual stuff sack that it comes in. This is really special and unique. And when I first was reading about this tent, uh, it was listed as a bike packing specific tent. And I was like, what is a bike pack? What? How do you make a bike packing specific tent? And for me, it really came down to this actual stuff sack that it comes in. The stuff sack itself has these two straps. Um, and these can wrap right around your handlebars and you can use this as a bar bag. 
So for parts of my trip, I was riding with a friend and I was carrying some of their items and I ran out of room to pack this tent inside my saddlebag. So I just mounted this directly onto my bars on top of my bar bag that was already there. Super, super convenient and easy. Beyond that, this is waterproof. It has a roll top to it and it keeps the tent nice and dry. I can imagine a world where maybe I do a shorter overnight trip or two night trip where I actually don't use this stuff sack, save a little bit of weight, and this goes right into one of my other bags. But knowing that this is an option and comes with the tent added a ton of value and convenience for me. So I wanna show you the poles of the tent because that was also one of the most impressive parts to me and a complete game changer. They fold down so ridiculously small and they weigh basically nothing. Um, they still feel really sturdy. They feel like they're gonna last. Um, but having poles that can fold down this far is what really makes a tent bike packing capable. Again, we talked about that pack size and that weight. A lot of the pack size is going to be determined by how far your poles can fold down. These really do the job for me. Having that stuff sack that could attach to the handlebars or a tent that could pack down so small that I could put it in my existing bar bag or in my saddle bag added a lot of versatility to my setup. Um, I actually didn't make it to the destination I was trying to go to. I got stuck with some downed trees and I ended up camping on the side of this trail and knowing that this tent was just going to be dependable. Setting up for the first time with no instructions and no issues was so confidence inspiring and it really did add a lot for me. It allowed me to enjoy that beautiful night of camping out in the woods. Everyone who gets into bikepacking is gonna come up with their own preferred setup and sleep system. Some people really like a lightweight bivy sack or something of that nature, but for most people, I think a tent works best. If you're looking for a high quality bikepacking ready tent, the Dragonfly 2 by Nemo is gonna work super well for you. If you wanna learn more about it, you can click the link in the description below and we'll have it there.